the retrofit package for the King Air uh, 200 and B200. It's eventually going to be in the different models, but we're going to start with the, the King Air uh, uh, 200 family and go up to the 350 family, and maybe other others, other models in the King Air uh, family. Anyway, this is a this retrofit package just announced here at the show at the EAA 2014. Is that the it's, it's a Bendix King uh, product? Um, and it's very similar to the systems that Honeywell produces for the uh, uh, high-end business jets, like the Gulfstreams, the Pilatus. Um, uh, it's very similar to the, the Pilatus BC-12 type of package. You have your uh, two primary flight displays over here, here, and then on the co-pilot side. Then you have a multi-function display in the center. You have synthetic vision over there on your primary flight display. You can also show, again, show your radar, ground proximity warning systems over here on, on this on the scale. Here's all your engine in information here, your communication, navigation, and, and identification information is here. You go over to here, this is your uh, movie map display over here, and then your flight plans over here. And you can, you can easily change uh, uh, modes over here by using the cursor control device. Just go over to here, put in uh, the waypoint page, and there's all the waypoints in your, in your flight plan. Very easy, very simple to do. Okay. Over here, you have a movie map display. Obviously, we're on the ground here at Oshkosh uh, uh, Air Venture 2014. Here's a flight plan I put in er earlier down to uh, Milwaukee, down to Badger, and we off, then on down to our corporate headquarters in Morristown, New Jersey. Uh, we use a cursor control device here, this uh, a roller ball uh, device here in the middle of the console to uh, select the waypoints and, and to make things happen on the uh, on the screen. For example. Here's, here's Badger VOR, for example, we can just uh, click on Badger VOR. And here's all the, the menu, brings up executive stuff that we can do at Badger VOR. We can, we can send a map on Badger VOR, we can go direct to, intercept the radio, amend the route, lead a waypoint, cross, make a crossing restriction, we can hold there, or we can just simply show the different information on the Badger VOR. It's the bad, here's the, frequency, the frequencies for Badgers. Um, when we would cross the uh, uh, that VOR. And also, too, we use this cursor control device. We'll, we'll get rid of that. We use cursor control device to bring up things uh, on our destination uh, airport, for example. Our destination is uh, Morristown, New Jersey. Okay. We, we can have our arrivals and departures over here, our weather information, and our, even our show information. We can go to uh, bring up our frequencies. There's VHF frequencies, and we can load that into our uh, comm right over there. Very simply, over here in this area over here, we have a we have a movie map display. We have a vertical display that you can either uh, bring on or, or take off. If you want to take it off in your in route, we just have you just have a bigger map. We also have charts. Here's our uh, charts here for uh, Oshkosh. This is the taxi chart for Oshkosh. You can see we're out here in the middle of our exhibit at, at Oshkosh. And there's our, our taxi charts to, to, to uh, depart Oshkosh. We also have our approach charts over here. As you can see, the airplane, the the, the, the airplane's position is uh, superimposed on the chart itself, so you know exactly where you are. There's, there's no uh, ambiguity whatsoever. Uh, over here, on that. We'll go back to our map. Again, it's very very easy to, to use using the cursor control device. What else would you